Hello, fashionistas. You are welcome back again to another fashionable inspired moment on your number one channel of choice, where we keep you abreast with the latest trend in African fashion, e-fashion world. <music> Today, we are looking into that lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, colorful fabric called Basin Richie. Basin stems from the Italian word Bambagia, meaning cotton wedding. It is a cotton damask or brocade fabric imported in West African countries from Europe or Asia. In Senegal, Basin fabric was introduced with the arrival of the French and was used to make a boob, a long loose traditional outerwear worn by men and women mostly in West Africa and the West African diaspora. Boob meaning a garment that can be slipped on over the head and used generically to describe long flowing ankle length robes worn by both men and women across Muslim West Africa from Senegal to Nigeria. The traditional bubu is an ample tunic with open sleeves and triangular or rectangular breast pockets. Bubu, both formal and everyday wear, is made in all different materials for both men and women. Aside from being comfortable and practical, it provides covering in accordance to Islamic belief. Usually, bubu is constructed in three parts. In Senegal, the most elegant bubu are made from highly quality cotton damask. The basin richie, they are heavily embroidered with the same color or contrasting sleek thread. Ornament embroidered pattern of circles and swell add on the pockets, neck opening, front and back, and other parts of the gown depending on the design. White and light blue are the classic colors and commonly worn in Mauritania, Western Sahara, Mali, Ninje, and Ninje. Bright color with multicolor embroidery are worn in Senegal and Gambia. Less expensive bubu are made from lower quality cotton damask fabric imported from China or India and usually have no embroidery. Traditionally, the Senegal bubu can be heavily embroidered. It is also known by various names depending on the ethnic group and the region in which it is being worn. In Senegal, everyday wear is a kaftan or bubu with pants for the men and pink a garment that women wrap around their hips and wear under a bubu. The former example for men is a three-piece outfit consisting of kaftan and grand bubu and a white embroidery skull cap, pillbox cap or red or brown fez. In Mauritania and Western Sahara, a similar garment is commonly worn with matching damask fabric and in Nigeria a similar type of bubu is worn and two rig men commonly wear wrap turban and face veil. In Mali, traditional cotton made of white mud cloth and associated with the town of Jene and Timbuktu was the type of luxury bubu and the lumasa primarily associated with tonka the ruler of ungalam once a sunny kingdom in present-day senegal from that rich explanation you can see that bubu is a very popular traditional wear mostly among west african countries and we brought this video today uh, in preparation for the Muslim festival, the Idli Fitri, that will be around in a few days away from now. Just sit back with Laza and get yourself stunned with this lovely, colorful, mind-blowing, 
Basin Richie star eyes from the beginning to the end and you'll be glad you did. All present and credits in this video goes to those creatively iconic fashion designers who put all this together for us to showcase to the rest of the world. Kudos to them. Enjoy it. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Share this video for us to evenly spread the trend of African dresses and styles across the globe. And don't forget to turn on your post notification for you to always get notified anytime a fascinating video like this is uploaded on this channel. And give this video a thumbs up if you find the styles in it interesting. My name is BJ. I'm the content director here at T Fashion World. You are welcome. Thank you so much for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you do, please give this very video a like. And if you are yet to subscribe, please do. And share this video with family and friends for us to evenly spread the trend of African dresses and styles across the globe. I will see you next time. Thank you.